What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and today I'm going to help you get stronger forearms. This video will be addressed to armistice and community, but don't worry if you're from another sport and you just want to get stronger forearms, better grip, better performance, you can get some really helpful tips from this video as well. If you want to get started in arm sling training but don't know where to start, please check out our Patreon project, link is in the description. We offer monthly arm sling workout plans for very reasonable prices. It helps you to support this channel and also we help you get stronger. We have made few videos where we give you some advice and tips on how to get huge forearms. In arm sling we don't much care about size. All we care about is performance, how strong they are. So today we're gonna to focus on getting them stronger. We're gonna use different type of equipments, cables, free weights, resistance bands, different types of stress, concentric, eccentric, isometric, different rep ranges, and really work on your forearms to make them perform better and get stronger. Our workout is gonna consist of five exercises. Please leave in comment section how many exercises for forearms you do per one training. You can do all these exercises as a one separate training or you can do them throughout your training week, like dividing it however you want. First exercise is dumbbell wrist curls on your knee. We're gonna use very big weights, low reps, six reps, few sets. So three to four sets of this. Before this, Vladislaus did three sets where he warmed up and now he's doing his max effort work. First, we're using free weights. With free weights, you have less balance. That means more activation on your forearms. We're using big weights, but we're trying to do as good reps as possible, curling that wrist in like as high as it goes. And we don't go to the full extension of the wrist. We go to the straight. So that when arm is straight, we curl back in. This is arm wrestling range. It's nothing new, guys know how to do it. For this exercise, you can substitute with anything else that is about 45 degree decline. So this is the main point. 45 degree decline will add stress on this exercise in a bottom and in a top position. So this exercise was concentric part of training. That means you're curling your wrist and doing the positive motion. This is the closest thing as performance of arm wrestling as possible because in arm wrestling, we need to curl our opponent inwards. Second exercise, we're gonna do single arm deadlifts. So, as you see, the handle that he's using are pretty thick. In arm wrestling, we cannot get stronger by just using regular dumbbells. It doesn't work like that. We need to adjust our hand to the, basically the size of someone else's hands in our hand. So these handles come in handy. We sometimes use even thicker ones, but these are pretty nice, so we're using these ones. Static training means you need to activate all of your muscle fibers in the shortest period of time. So this will help you get stronger in this position. In this exercise, Vladislav is trying to keep his hand a little bit bent and keeping that cup as tight as possible. But with big weights, it falls out, but still it's, you, you need to do it like this. All the fingers are on one side. We're not using full grip. Again, full grip breaks arm wrestling grip. So we need to stay inside of our cup. This is the second exercise that's isometric. It doesn't matter what kind of sport you're into, what kind of things you're doing, you can add this to your training. But you need to use handles that you're gonna use in competition. So if power lifters wanna get stronger by lifting up the bar, they cannot take the thicker handles because their body will get used to lifting thicker handles. And when it comes to something thin, it's very hard for them to keep it because the maximal force will be generated in position where the thick handle is. So this is why, as I said in the beginning, arm wrestlers cannot work with just like regular grip, you know? We, we cannot get stronger in those positions. If someone says they can get stronger in this position, they're lying because if that would be the truth, arm wrestlers could easily lift up 400 kilos by holding it in these positions. But we are super strong in this cup position. When you take any other athlete, they really rarely can hold on to the weights that arm wrestlers are using. Third exercise. For this one, we can use rubber resistance band and a handle I took it from Mazarenko's winding handle. 
So you can use anything else, shaker, water bottle, like anything else, it doesn't matter. So here we're gonna work on our eccentric part. It doesn't matter how we curl the weight in, you can help with both arms, it doesn't matter. You hold it for two seconds when the wrist is in bent position and then slowly open it up for another three. Five to 10 seconds on this exercise is just amazing. Three sets, five to 10 reps, and your forearm is gonna be destroyed. We know that putting weights down slowly trains our body, you know, and in armor sling and in forearms, it's no different. So this is super great way how you can add tension just by stepping backwards or going forward and your forearm is gonna be killed. When it's very close to competition, I do not recommend doing this exercise because your forearms are gonna be destroyed and it's gonna be very hard to hold on to some, someone else, to beat someone else. For fourth exercise, Kaspers is using conical handle and cable machine. He's doing it on table, you can do it anywhere else, and also he's putting resistance band around his wrist. Resistance band takes away unnecessary movement of the body. In arm wrestling, we're very used to moving our wrist together with our body. And we want to work a little bit strictly, so no extra movement like as little movement as possible let's say how it is but we try to work like this just to activate all the muscles because sometimes your body will get in those positions where it feels comfortable and not necessarily where it should be working so here you can really really work on your muscles also he's using conical handle that adds more tension on your small finger because the small finger is the shortest one of all and whenever you take a normal handle, it gets less tension. So here he gets more tension on his forearm, on his small finger, and he's letting the weight out on tip of his fingertips, then curling it back in and then curling his forearm. This again activates all the finger flexors together with wrist flexors because not all the time we're gonna have this movement where your fingers are flexing. So. This exercise is super great. We work four sets of eight reps. You don't need to do any more you want, but control over everything and just making your body activate those muscle fibers that you wouldn't necessarily activate. Fifth exercise is combination of four movements. We're gonna do pronation, supination, radial deviation, and ulnar deviation. All these movements are necessary for healthy forearm. In arm wrestling, we use too much of flexion motion. All the flexors are super activated and we need to set that balance. Arm wrestlers are gonna use sometimes different exercises. They're gonna use just like work on pronation separately, supination, ulnar and radial divination. But if you don't have time or resources or anything else, just get a handle from a dumbbell or anything similar and just do these exercises. Ingers is performing them 10 reps on each exercise. So 10 pronation, 10 supination, 10 ulnar and 10 radial deviation. So it really gets that blood flow in your forearm and gets that balance back. This is what you need. You need to get that balance back. I don't know if you like the video, but please like the video, maybe share it with your friends. These are just ideas. You can do them how you want to do them. 
it doesn't matter. You can change some of these exercises to something similar. All I wanted to get out is idea. Idea is not to just do like one motion, not just concentric, not just isometric, not just eccentric, but combinate all of them. Activate your muscles, work on those, sometimes on those full range, partial range, whatever you want, but just getting all those things in your training. You can change them up, you can use them however you want, but we know these are working and as I said, you can do this as a full workout, just uh, in, in your training session or spread it out to the week, like, uh, I don't know, today I'm gonna do eccentric bar, today I'm gonna do isometric or concentric and things like that. And the last exercise is very crucial, you need to have that balance back. It's super important to have that balance back. If you don't have that balance, at one point you will have injuries and we don't want that. We want you to be healthy, we want you to be strong and we want you to be better. So I hope this helped. Please like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, support us, get themselves some Armistling t-shirts, link is in the description. Stay strong and love Armistling.